Okay, I've got to start with this because I'm completely in awe of what the game devs have done here. These are some of the best weapon animations that I've seen, definitely comparable to Modern Warfare 2. Every single weapon's reload animation, inspect animation, and just the general weapon models are some of the best that I've seen in video games. Now, you might at first think that this is some sort of hardcore first-person military-style shooter that you can hop into and gun down other gamers across the map. And you wouldn't be completely wrong. It sort of is. But that's pretty much a side aspect to this game. No, this game is actually part of the horror genre because while you can gun down other gamers, the main focus is gunning down these guys. You may have heard of this game before, it was previously called SCP Pandemic. However, changes have been made during this early access progression, and now the game has changed its name to reflect the SCP universe the game represents, and now is called SCP-5K. And it's a game I visited a long time ago on its release, and as I've come back, I've been wowed at their progress. If you don't know anything about the SCP universe, don't fret, I am right there with you. It's somewhat of an open source multiverse, apparently, where there are these anomalies that people just make up and then provide backstories for that involve a secret shadow society called the SCP Foundation that is supposedly studying these entities and keeping the world safe from them. They seem to have gotten off track a little bit with this storyline, but I'll talk about that in a second. But these anomalies can be anything from a forklift, which is called the SCP-708, to a box, which Google can't help me find, but in this game he's called Dave. And then there is this terror called SCP-173. That is sort of like the ghost guys from Mario. If you stop looking at him, well, this happens. Oh. He didn't move. Oh. He didn't move. Three, uh. two, one, turn. It's around the corner. It's, it's that F around and find out chart, isn't it? That's that's exactly what <laughs> <Yeah>. that was. <laughs> I believe we F around and found out. Now, what I find crazy about this whole thing is that people just make this stuff up and then they add it to the universe and that's it. There are thousands and thousands of SCPs that exist and every single one, someone has created some sort of story or history to go along with it. The back rooms are the same sort of concept, just an open world that people can just pretend things exist. And while I'm not really into that whole horror genre and haven't studied the SCP universe at all, I think the entire concept of this universe is pretty cool. I think it adds a lot of creative freedom, and it's really cool that people can just do what they want with it. And I also think this game is a lot of fun. Along with the crazy good animations in the PvP mode, they've got a neat little story mode and a large level to progress through that takes about two hours to complete with your buddies. I will say though, while the PvP mode and the terrorist hunt style game mode is able to be played as solo, you're definitely going to want friends for this story mode. If I had played this by myself, it would definitely be a little bit dull and way less appealing. So if you pick this up for the story, especially if you're not some sort of super SCP fan, you should definitely be playing this with friends. The general story to the mission is that you're some operator, a part of an anti-foundation alliance or the AFA, and you're trying to prevent the complete extermination of mankind. As like I mentioned before, the foundation has apparently become unhinged and found an anomaly inside the human collective subconscious. So uh, they're essentially just trying to kill everyone off because they're the good guys or something. Anyway, you progress through the level called Area 12, with the goal of destroying the entire facility by destroying the reactor at the end of the level. Along the way, you encounter these naked zombies, these oversized demo dogs that aren't quite from the upside down, these long-legged arthropods that make me want to grab some butter and chow down mid-raid. I mean, imagine the meat you could get from these bad boys. Anyway, and then you can meet the Mario ghost and save Dave and his family. So not all SCPs in this universe are bad. The story is pretty cool in general, though it does have a long way to go. The game is currently in early access, specifically alpha, and it shows. At the game's release, there were several game-breaking bugs that have since been fixed, though there were still some crashes during our playthrough. To go along with this game, there's some simple weapon customization that you can utilize, though functionally, it provides minimal benefits to gameplay. Modifying guns is just fun for people in general, so I'm glad that they have that in there. Like I mentioned before, the game also has some other game modes, including a PvP arena-style mode, a terrorist hunt-style game mode, although the AI in this is still pretty broken. 
And then they've also got a wave survival mode where you and your buddies team up and see how long you can last against hordes and hordes of enemies. And real quick here, I want to circle back to the beginning of the video. The animations, as you saw, are fire, but that's not all when it comes to this game. Overall, these are some of my favorite things about this game, so I feel like I need to touch on them. The weapon mechanics that go along with this game are also incredible. It's something that you'd expect from a more realistic game, or at least something more grounded in this universe. For example here, I've got my firearm with a laser. I can run around point shooting with or without that laser, and it looks really good. This is always a cool feature that I find in games and I love that AAA developers are also starting to put this in their games. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 has this as some sort of an attachment as well. But then you've also got your secondary sights here that you can utilize in case you want to rock an ACOG as your primary optic, and then want to switch to that canted RMR for a little bit closer quarters action. I'm a big fan of that, and to be more tactical and realistic, though this has absolutely nothing to do with the gameplay, you can also carry your weapon in low ready. It will look really, really cool and keep you from flagging your teammates, but that's pretty much it. It doesn't have any real use case, though I do appreciate the time it took to add that tiny detail there. The environment itself also looks absolutely gorgeous. The lighting, the fidelity of all the models, the effects from the bullet impact, the smoke out of the barrel. This game has a really, really good foundation when it comes to gunplay. And I hope that expands a little bit further. I hope this game continues to progress because what they've got going on right now is looking very good. Normally the game is about $20 on Steam, but goes on sale occasionally. It might even be on sale when this video goes out. So definitely wish list this if you're looking into it. And also I'll be having keys to give away over in my Discord. So hop in there for a chance to win as well. The link is down below. My original plan was to show off some of the storyline here with my buddies, but I accidentally didn't record the sound of the game. Always good stuff, but it was a really great time. I had a ton of fun playing with my buddies and I'm blown away with how much this game has changed. The environment itself feels so much better. There's a lot more ins and outs. There's a lot more attention to detail. There's a lot more to the surrounding levels. It's kind of crazy how much things change when you just add little details here and there or things that weren't there before. When you add to that maps environment, the game just feels more full and not just a bunch of empty hallways. Now, what makes this game hard to fully recommend is the fact that the replayability is currently somewhat lacking. The crashes as well are a big thing. It's very bare bones and is still considered to be in the alpha state. However, it has come a long way since the last time I've played it. It may be one of those things for you that you just purchase and then come back every few months to see how it's progressed. That's definitely where I'm at with this game. I don't see me playing this game a whole lot. Again, though, I would recommend if you pick this game up, for sure play it with friends. As a solo gamer, you might want to hold off a bit until it's a bit more refined. The game will be linked down below, however, so if you want to check it out and wishlist this just to keep an eye on it, go ahead and follow that link. You can also subscribe to my channel so you can see projects like this, and definitely hit that like button to tell Susan this video is good for others. But that's all for this one. Again, hop into the Discord for a chance to win or any other questions in general. You can talk to me directly there because, well, it's my Discord. Thank you gamers so much for watching, and until the next one, be bold, be courageous, stay tactical.